SI is like all apart right now. Um, got the tire off, jacked up. I did that for a reason. So yeah, today we're gonna do a valve adjustment on a K20Z3. So the first thing you guys wanna do in this process is take your passenger side tire off. To get this um, windshield like cowl off or whatever you call it, you're gonna have one, two, three. So you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and just work with it, you know, pry up on one side, pry on the other. Here's the one on the left. Here's the one on the right. Lightly get all the clips out, lift up on one side, work your way all the way to the right and it should be able to come off. Alright, so this piece is off. Next, we're gonna take this metal piece off, raise some of these bolts. All right, so holding this on, you got a uh, 10 millimeter on this side as well as the other side. And then two in the back, those are both 12 millimeters. Then this one in the back there, that's a 10 millimeter. There's a 10 mil on in the back there. And then you come over here, there's another one that's hidden back there, so. All right, so I got all the, uh, all the bolts out. This thing should just come right out like that. Alright, next we're going to take off this that's at the top. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And the beautiful IV Tech. Does this thing have VTEC or what? Take off this cover. Alright, so now this is off at two 10 millimeters. Unloosen those. There's one there. And then there's one right. Come in the back here. Next, you're going to take a pair of vice grips or any type of pliers. You're going to take this clamp and slide it. Next, it looks like we have a bracket on the side of the valve cover. You got a 10 mil right there, and then there's a 10 mil right there. And there you have it. As you can see, there's a open. It opens up a gap in the back. Let's pull our off. Uh, dipstick out right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but down in each chamber, you have all your spark plugs. For spark plug removal, I highly recommend one of these magnetic, as you can see there, this one right here. Voila! NGK Iridium. Best spark plug. Alright, so now we have one, two, three, four 10 millimeter, five, and then there's a sixth one in the back. All right guys, next, this part's a bitch. Um, you gotta kinda like pry the whole valve cover off. So like, you're gonna start off on one side, and if you can, make way to the middle. All right, we got this thing. It is officially off, guys. All right, so guys, right here I have my new Honda OEM valve cover gasket. Uh, some Honda Bond for the uh, for the seal. You could use RTV silicone as well. And then I have my feeler gauges. Now um, I have .009, and then I have .012. And the intake valves, which are on the front, those are going to be the .009, and the exhausts are going to be. 0.012. You cover your uh, spark plug chambers. Oh, what you're gonna do is mine's already top dead center, but as you could see down there, there's two slash lines that need to be directly across from each other, and there's two dots. There's one, and then there's two right there. Those need to be that's top dead center right there. So your arrow is pretty much in line with this arrow, and this is. Um, cylinder number one right here and the firing order for the for Honda's for the SI's or the Civic should I say is one three four and then two and then here's my setup for my um, my rotation so I have a, a three drive breaker bar with two extensions to a 19 millimeter onto my my crankshaft bolt right there and all you have to do is rotate it clockwise to uh, turn the motor all right, so guys, I'm going to do my best to show you here. Um, I'm kind of limited to tools. You're supposed to have a special tool, but a uh, 10 millimeter wrench and a flathead screwdriver will do this. Um, I'm just 
adjusting the drag right now on my intake valves. So here's my feeler gauge. I got my 0 .009. All right, so as far as adjusting these, um, you want to feel a slight amount of drag. So like if you're putting the feeler gauge in and out, you can feel it like tugging a little. So you want it like somewhere around that general area. All right, so I'm working on my exhaust valves now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and torque the intake um, screws to 14. Back here are torqued down to 10. The next thing we're gonna do is rotate our crank pulley 180 degrees. As I rotate, you guys can see that the whole camshaft assembly is All right, so like I said, your first your first cylinder is going to be number one, and then you're going to come over to uh, number three right here, and then you're going to do four, and then back to two. So everything is pretty much the same. Um, keep in mind that your intake are point zero zero nine, and your exhaust are point zero one two. You guys want to take a little bit of brake cleaner and a paper towel or a rag and you want to go around and gently clean your mating circuit. Then last step, we're going to take some Honda Bond and if you take your old valve cover gasket, you can see where the factory, the marks are. So you're going to have all, pretty much all in the corners, all four corners. Here's our first corner. Right. This corner here, and then you're gonna do the same one in the back spot. So I don't think you guys can see it's dark back there, but literally right in that corner.